Are you combing your hair? Where are you going? Because every time you start a comb your hair, from the time I know you combing up that hair, I know you going out tonight. So where you going tonight is what I want to know. Hmm? Where you going tonight that you had to style up that hair so? Okay, somebody being silent about the Friday plans. Let's move on, folks. All right. What's up, guys? It's Twintuitive. I am back with another video. I'm hanging with saucy good vibes. <laughs> right as I said that, she does the ear flick. The classic ear flick. Look at her. Look at her. And the saucy beaver. Where's your other ear? Mega, where's your other ear? Oh, there it is. You're so cute, mommy. <laughs> All right, guys. I am on to do a divine masculine reading. I want to check in with where the masculines are at. You know, what's going on with them. I want to find out what kind of forward movement is happening. Okay, because I know in yesterday's reading, I talked a lot about many of you receiving a lot of confirmation, a lot of signs that your counterpart is making their way back to you. Now, there's something I also want to address about spiritual attacks and sending back the energy. Many of you in the comment section of that community post, um, you know, you felt that it was best to just transmute the energy. Oh, you shouldn't send back energy. It attracts bad karma. You should just live in love and light. And, and I understand where you guys are coming from. You know, I know that there's many of us who are here to transmute energy because we have that embodiment our, our gifts are to transmute but i also want you guys to know that there's some of us who you know we're not here to transmute we are here to send that shit back okay because if you give me something that's yours i'm not going to transmute it okay it's not my job it's your job to transmute it so i'm going to send it back to you so that you could deal with it and I also want you guys to know that, you know, many of us who are readers in the community and many of you who will, you know, come upon readers who practice sending the energy back. I want you guys to know, like, like we've been taught how to send the energy back. We don't cower in fear when we're under spiritual attack. We calm the F down and we go to our book of shadows. OK, for many of us, that's going to be really, really different. Um, depending on you know where you're from and what your grandmothers and great grandmothers have taught you but I just want you guys to know like some of us are not here for love and light and I appreciate you guys trying to educate me on you know being careful and not to send things back but I want you guys to know like I don't come from the same lineage as you like when I see dark energy coming towards me or spiritual attacks you know I don't jump into a place of oh forgiveness and love and light and it's just not in my soul to do that and I'll tell you guys something as well I want you to really think and I want you guys to put things into perspective okay because when laws in the 3d are broken okay and people commit crimes against innocent people okay women and children and men you know the first thing you want if someone is guilty is you want punishment for that person right it's 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 not a common thing to have someone commit a heinous crime against another human being and for the people who have been affected by that crime to want the perpetrator to pay for it through punishment okay so usually that comes in the form of a judge putting down a sentence and that person is punished for their crimes okay when someone commits a heinous crime in the 3d we don't say to them oh okay you know what we're gonna transmute that into love and light and we're gonna forgive you no we don't so when spiritual laws are being broken it's the same thing justice has to occur Okay, we don't love and light when it comes to crimes being committed in the 3D. We don't love and light when crimes are being committed in the spiritual as well. There is justice that needs to happen. And many of us in the community who are meant to send those attacks exactly where they're meant to be, you can consider us as spiritual judges in the community who will grant that justice okay and it's also meant to help other people to awaken to this gift within them as well so that they can actually be prepared to deal with the type of spiritual and karmic attacks that are occurring in their 
particular journey. Okay, so I really wanted to clear that up for some of you who, um, you know, you're in the comment section and you have this, you know, you have this way about you where it's like, oh, you know, you're going to just attract bad karma and you should always forgive and you should always heal um, others by practicing forgiveness, things like that. Like, I don't know, like maybe that's what you guys were taught, but I wasn't taught to ignore bullies as a kid. You know, in fact, I remember when I was very young, my grandma had to come and pick me up from school because I ended up fighting a girl at school. I was probably like seven and I'll never forget it. Her name was Safia and I beat her up. OK, and she had so many chances to leave me alone. But I was the type of child where it's like provoke me, provoke me, provoke me and I will go ape shit on you. And after I went ape shit, my grandma came to pick me up from school and I remember being seven years old and when my grandma came, she heard what the principal had to say and I, and my grandma always laughs at the story until today. We always bring it up when we're just, you know, chit-chatting and talking. <laughs> but I remember my grandma looked at me and she goes, you beat that girl up? And I said, yes, grandma, and I'll take whatever punishment I have to take. Okay, I, I, I'll go without my toys and stuff like that. And my grandma says she'll never forget that moment of looking at me and being like, I'll take whatever punishment I'll, I'll have to take, grandma. <laughs> Meaning like she knew I was justified in doing what I was doing. And I remember never getting in for, into trouble for that. She never mentioned it to my mom. And uh, it was just kind of this thing between me and my grandma where she kind of just looked at me and I don't know, silently, I would just remember her being like, at a girl. She didn't exactly say that, but the way she kind of giggled when I said, I'll, I'll take my punishment, whatever it is. <laughs> it was like there was nothing else to be said. So, yeah, I just want you guys to, you know, just remember, not all of us are the same. Not all of us come from the same lineage. You know, I always remind you guys, I'm Hindu. You know, I, I'm, I'm a practicing Hindu, and so... I watched Karan Arjun by the time I was like six. If you guys ever want to know about the laws of karma, watch that Hindi movie, Karan Arjun, and you guys will see exactly why it is. I pray to Mother Kali, why it is I, you know, have such a strong connection with the goddesses, especially goddesses who confront the shadow work. Okay, so now that that is out of the way, I'm going to dive right in here to a divine masculine reading. I really want to know what the masculines want to communicate at this time because it could be that communication is being blocked as they work through their karmic shadow work, okay? So some of you might be blocked from your divine masculine, but it's not actually your divine masculines that are blocking. It's, it's the karmics, okay? You taught me to stand up to the karmic. I told you guys, okay? So if karmics are doing things like that where... You know, for the masculines, for example, I see a lot of your masculines in karmic situations where the karmic partner will deactivate their social media accounts. The karmic partner will go through their phone. The karmic partner will keep tabs on them. And many of your masculines had trouble in the past drawing those boundaries, okay? Drawing those personal boundaries. I'm hearing the word lack of personal boundaries. And it wasn't until the masculine started communicating with you, Divine Feminine, that they started to learn about boundaries. You know, most likely because you had very strong boundaries with them. Some of their bad behaviors as well. It came from their interaction and the dynamic with how it is they deal with the karmic partner. So many of you may have found that when you did interact with your masculine, as loving and as unconditional as you might have been, if you were to say the wrong thing to trigger your Divine Masculine whether it's a man or a woman, they would be quick to be very, you know, offended and, and maybe speak to you in a way that was like very shocking. And I want you guys to know that's exactly what the dynamic is like with the karmic, okay? But since interacting with you, the way you have handled your divine masculine in that energy, they've held it close to their heart. And so now that there's no communication between both of you, your masculine wants you to know that in the past, the way that you've dealt with them, the way that you have seen them for who they are, but at the same time, you know, you're, you're not willing to put up with just anybody, like twin flame or no twin flame, whether this is your divine masculine or not. Many of you are like, fuck that shit, bro. Like, back the fuck up. Who the fuck you think you're talking to? I, I think many of you like you didn't mean to do it in that way but it's like i think a lot of your masculines needed that initial shock to the system okay and so they quickly learned about personal boundaries and you know just being able to speak to others 
with kindness, with integrity, with grace. Um, and so they're now practicing this with the karmic partners, okay? And many of your masculines have been stuck for a really long time. If you have a masculine that's a male, they've they've really been struggling to exit these situations because um, if they were rough around the edges, this karmic would use it to their advantage. You know, the the, the crying, the, the victimizing themselves, and, you know, it would then bring your masculine to a place of feeling like, okay, great, now I'm the bad guy because I made you cry not you know not thinking that it's like wow like this person really triggers me or this person is so hurtful because your masculines have issues with their temper in the past they would blow up at this karmic partner and then the issues never get resolved because a lot of your masculines would give into the guilt oh i'm sorry i screamed at you i'm sorry i yelled at you okay fine let's make up you know i'm sorry i did that and then they stay stuck in that karmic cycle but they're never able to fully recognize that it's like wait a second what about the way you just triggered me though you know it's like do we not address that so i feel like a lot of your masculines are practicing they're they're practicing groundedness okay so a lot of your masculines who struggle with their temper they're learning from you that they need to address that like i'm, I'm seeing that a lot of your masculines when they're healing with their shadow work you help them to put their anger in check Okay, so they came to you, they came with that big hostile, you know, big and bad type of like bully attitude and you shut that down right away, Divine Feminine. And I'm seeing that they've probably never dealt with a feminine energy who has had such strong boundaries right off the bat. You, you, you never caved because, oh, he's so dreamy or she's so charming and she's so sexy and like, oh, wild and straightforward or many of you were like listen like that's all fine and dandy but you need to back the fuck up right now like i don't know who you're talking to and it came as a shock to their system okay but i'm seeing that many of them are recollecting these experiences and now they're practicing groundedness the karmics aren't triggering them the same way anymore you you guys would be surprised but a lot of your masculines are practicing things like breath work um you know they're they're jogging more they're exercising more I'm also hearing too that because of that stand up to the karmic part, I'm also hearing too that many of your masculines are, um, they're not drinking. They're not drinking with the karmic because that's also been like a really huge um, trigger on the journey, okay? Um, and it's played a huge role in them being stuck in these karmic situations because I feel like whenever there is conflict and there's this making up bit, there it's followed by like let's drink let's wash it all away with the alcohol and you know the next morning they wake up and continue on until the big crash comes again the tower falls again whether it's you know six weeks or six months later okay so many of your masculines are recognizing these patterns and they are starting to wake up in a sense too many of your masculines are also starting to realize that they have been under spiritual attack as well they have been under karmic attack okay um because this deck is so beautiful and colorful <laughs> um oh, the queen of cups is coming up again okay you know what i'll put it back in the pile there she is just so you guys can see her but because she came up in yesterday's reading if she wants to come out she'll definitely make an appearance but um you know what i was going to say is like what is the divine feminine's energy in all of this how is your divine masculine perceiving your energy at this time divine feminine okay so it's got a good shuffle in there let's go ahead and cut it right in half okay so we have the two of cups okay so they see you as a healthy relationship someone that they can equally come together with like and thrive is what i'm hearing like i love this pose too do you guys remember doing that as kids i would always do that with my siblings we'd be like we'd have like juice or like water or whatever we'd be like hey let's try this out <laughs> um and i think we even had the children card come up in yesterday's reading as well but you know i'm i'm sensing that your masculines want balance in their life they want to start experiencing a love relationship from a place of balance with someone that they are matched to okay and in the meantime this want and desire for having this balance is exactly what's making them stand up to these karmic partners okay so a lot of your masculines could be very moody right now um, i'm seeing that a lot of your masculines are feeling really short-tempered 
um, if any of them are in karmic situations or with karmic partners um, you know and let's go ahead and get some energy on that but what I'm getting behind that is like it's quiet in the house it's cold in the house um, I see two people you know spending time in, in two different rooms okay the judgment card yeah like uh, didn't I talk about this at the beginning of the reading where I talked about justice you know uh, these karmic situations are under a lot of, of judgment I feel like the universe sees is what I'm hearing with this card the universe sees everything okay and many of you if you're in these types of situations where it feels like there is just no end make sure that you guys are self caring okay make sure that you guys are bowing out and allowing the universe to take care of it because this judgment card here tells me that this balance and your masculine standing up to the karmic it has everything to do with your spirit guides your ancestors and the universe so many of you don't need to worry at this time about the outcome or when justice will take place right now things are under judgment and justice will take place in an, in due time okay so if you guys haven't listened to yesterday's reading go ahead and listen to it because if your masculines are in this energy here these karmic endings are happening okay and this is exactly where it starts so check out yesterday's reading because i did share some tips on how to handle spiritual attacks it had a lot to do with keeping our temple clean including our body in our home okay so make sure you guys check that out but this is why this judgment card is coming up okay it's a confirmation of yesterday's reading to let you guys know um you know don't worry about it your ancestors are taking care of it in fact i i see that many of you have you know half the attacks that have been happening to you many of you have been oblivious a lot of you in the comment section were like i didn't even know like it was the karmic situation or i didn't even think to think about that you know it, and i feel like it's because a lot of you you know you're not paying attention to sending energy back on purpose or anything like that your ancestors are doing it your spirit guides are doing it because they're the ones who see they're the ones who can be in 10 million places at once so while you're off minding your own business you know giving to your community giving to yourself you know trying your best to practice mindfulness and you know keeping negative thoughts away and, and trying to heal other people have not been trying to do that okay and many of you you know maybe you don't want to hear that on the journey but you know karmic attacks are literally these karmic people who have your name in their mouth okay very immature karmics i wish that he or she would just like get into a car accident or i wish he or she would just jump off a bridge or like and they think it's funny to say stuff like that right these karmics thinks it's funny to create fake social media profiles and you know come after you guys and 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 you, and put you under the illusion that you're being watched or messed with and many of you have been just like brushing it off like you do this like little scratch on your head and you're like nah and then you just kind of brush it off and i'm seeing too that many of you have just been patiently trying to heal from the attacks okay like do your best to take care of yourself many of you are like okay maybe i should i should light some sage in the house or and your ancestors and your spirit guides are watching you and they're angry okay they're gonna help protect you but they're gonna do what they need to do in other areas of your life as well because you guys came to this planet with protection okay you guys came here with spirit guides to look after you who have been with you in your lineage for many many lifetimes and you know again some of them they, they don't practice that whole love and light and forgiveness right they they care about judgment and justice all right let's go ahead and get the best course of action for you okay so let go of ego all right so for many of you who are in this energy here where okay so if you're experiencing karmic attacks and okay this is for those of you who are who are griping that's the word i'm getting and i don't know why maybe it's a trini thing but in trinidad we say like what are you griping over that for like why are you you know fixated on it guys i'm telling you if many of you are experiencing these types of things don't take it upon yourself to fixate on it allow your ancestors and spirit guides to do their thing okay because um 
another message I'm getting with let go of ego is that a lot of you are getting fed up on the journey, okay? Many of you are, there's no beginning to the end of these types of karmic situations and a lot of you may feel like you'll never get justice or no one's ever going to see what happens, you know, behind the scenes. And I can, I can feel it, guys. I know a lot of you go through these situations and it's hard to explain to other people that you know what you know, but let go of ego. Nobody needs to know what you know. Allow your ancestors to do their thing. So if many of you are trying to ward off these attacks and do it in the way that I explained in the video where you don't focus on the karmic or the masculine, instead you focus on yourself. You clean up your home, you, you know, declutter, you start taking care of your health and, you know, your hygiene and your body, things like that. That is what's going to ward off the spiritual attacks and keep you in good health and then the consequences and repercussions of those people taking those actions allow your ancestors and spirit guides to deal with it because they already are okay all right guys i love you all take care of yourselves and i will catch you in tonight's reading okay all right bye guys